Once upon a time, in a land far away, there was a beautiful kingdom. In this kingdom, there was a lovely queen who wished for a child. One winter day, as the queen was sitting by her window sewing, she pricked her finger and three drops of blood fell onto the snow white window sill. As she looked at the blood on the snow, she made a wish. I wish for a child with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as the night sky, she said softly. Months later, the queen gave birth to a baby girl. Her skin was as white as snow, her lips were as red as blood, and her hair was as black as the night sky. They named her Snow White, and she brought great joy to her parents. However, happiness did not last long. The queen passed away when Snow White was just a little girl. The king, heartbroken by the loss of his beloved wife, married another woman. The new queen was beautiful, but she was also very vain and wicked. She could not stand anyone being more beautiful than her. The wicked queen had a magical mirror that she would talk to every day. She would stand before it and ask, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? And every day, the mirror would reply, my queen, you are the fairest one of all. This answer would please the queen, and she would go about her day, satisfied with herself. Years went by, and Snow White grew into a lovely young lady. She was kind, gentle, and very beautiful. One day, when the wicked queen asked her mirror the same question, the mirror replied, My queen, you are fair, it's true. But Snow White is a thousand times more beautiful than you. The wicked queen was furious. She could not bear the thought of someone being more beautiful than her, especially her stepdaughter. So, she summoned her most trusted huntsman and ordered him to take Snow White deep into the forest and kill her. The huntsman, terrified of the queen's wrath, agreed to do as he was told. Snow White, unaware of her stepmother's evil intentions, went with the huntsman into the forest. They walked deep into the woods, and when they stopped, Snow White began to pick flowers. As the huntsman drew out his knife to kill her, he found he could not go through with it. He told Snow White of the queen's plan and urged her to run away. Snow White, frightened and alone, ran deeper into the forest. As the sun began to set, she came upon a little house. Hoping to find help, she knocked on the door, but nobody answered. Snow White pushed the door open and entered the house. Inside, she found everything to be tiny but tidy. There was a small table set for seven, seven tiny chairs, and seven little beds lined up against the wall. Tired and hungry, Snow White ate some vegetables and bread from the table and then lay down on one of the beds. She soon fell asleep, exhausted from her day's ordeal. Meanwhile, the seven dwarfs who lived in the house were returning home from a day's work in the mines. When they entered their home, they noticed that someone had been there. As they were trying to figure out what had happened, they found Snow White asleep on the bed. At first, they were frightened, but as they gazed upon her beautiful face, they knew she meant no harm. When Snow White awoke, she was surprised to see the seven dwarfs staring at her. She introduced herself and explained her story. The dwarfs felt sorry for Snow White and decided to let her stay with them. In exchange, she would cook, clean, and take care of their home. Snow White agreed, grateful for their kindness and the shelter they provided. Every day, while the dwarfs went to work in the mines, Snow White would clean the house, cook their meals, and sing sweet songs. In the evenings, they would gather around the fire, and Snow White would tell them stories about her life in the castle. The dwarfs grew to love Snow White, and they became a happy little family. Back at the castle, the wicked queen believed Snow White was dead. She asked her magical mirror, 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 on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? To her surprise, the mirror replied, My queen, you are fair, it's true. 
but Snow White, still alive and well, is a thousand times more beautiful than you. Furious and determined, the Wicked Queen decided to take matters into her own hands. She created a poisoned apple, so beautiful and tempting that no one could resist taking a bite. Disguised as a farmer's wife, and went deep into the forest to find Snow White. When she finally found the little house, she knocked on the door. Snow White, seeing the old woman, opened the door to help her. Snow White could not resist the apple's beauty and took a bite. As soon as she did, she fell into a deep sleep, seemingly dead. When the dwarfs returned, they found Snow White lying on the floor, lifeless. They tried everything to revive her, but nothing worked. Heartbroken, they placed her in a glass coffin and kept watch over her day and night. One day, a handsome prince rode by the little house and saw Snow White in the glass coffin. Struck by her beauty, the prince gave Snow White a true love kiss and she awoke alive and well. The prince, overjoyed, asked Snow White to marry him and she happily accepted. Snow White and the prince returned to the castle and prepared for their wedding. As for the wicked queen, she got imprisoned for her wrongdoings and was never seen again. Snow White and the prince lived happily ever after. They ruled the kingdom with kindness and love and the dwarfs often visited them, remaining close friends for the rest of their lives. And that, dear child, is the end of our tale. Good night, little one. May you have sweet dreams and wake up to a beautiful new day filled with the love that comes from a pure heart.